Welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're going to discover a little bit of the truth about catch-up sessions. Some of you have heard me talk about catch-up sessions before, and it's kind of a bonus tip I like to give to my clients, and that is when you're working on anything, whether it's life stuff or business stuff, setting aside a little bit of time every week to actually have a catch-up session I usually schedule about 90 minutes. It doesn't usually take me 90 minutes, but just in case. Um, and it allows me to go back to the beginning of the week and take a look and pick up any loose threads that didn't get finished or that came up um, or got pushed down to the side or off the to-do list because something else came up. And just to evaluate and revisit how I might use them uh, or get to them next week, or can I knock them out real quick right now? So it's that that little bit of time now to save you lots of time later. It's so you don't forget that you were supposed to call that client back for more than a couple of days. So you don't forget to pay a bill or an annual subscription fee because it's something that comes up um, rarely. You know, it's it's about saving time next time. And it's about keeping true to your word. And so it's worth setting up at least half an hour to 90 minutes every week as part of your weekly strategy um, towards the end of the week to just look at what got left off. And like the day, the time slot we set up at the beginning of the week, like Monday, Sunday or Monday, where we set up and prepare for the whole week, you want to look at the same areas. So there's going to be money areas? Is there money deposits to be made or money to be transferred or bills to pay? Um, are there any people you need to follow up with or contact that you promised you'd get back to them soon and you just haven't gotten to that part of your list yet this week? Go ahead, make those calls, write those emails, connect with those people. Even if it's just to say, totally ran out of time this week, I apologize. I will get that to you first thing Monday. If anything like that, uh, needs to be communicated. It's just to be clear in your intentions about how things um, should go for the next week, right? Just keep yourself honest and in integrity and alignment. Um, it's another good time to just see if there were any purchases you needed to make for the weekend that you didn't quite get um, or for, for starting first thing Monday morning that you may need to pick up over the weekend. And you want to look at your energy level. Like how review, how did it go this week? Did you give yourself enough time, enough grace, enough transition time, um, enough support and help from other people to actually get the stuff done that you wanted to get done this week? That's what a catch up session is really all about. And occasionally there will be something special, like you had to put an entire thing off to do this other thing. An example might be this week I had planned to shoot video on Friday and I have to go get a crown instead. <laughs> I'm going to do as much as I can ahead of time so that um, I can either do it a little bit later in the day on Friday or hopefully actually finish it up Thursday evening instead of um, doing it on Friday so that I can rest after my trip to the dentist. But um you know, some things come up and you just got to deal with them and you got to make adjustments. So keep in mind that if you prepare at the beginning of the week and you catch up at the end of the week, chances are a lot of those little detail things um, are going to be taken care of kind of automatically. And what I'm learning now is how to delegate some of those things during my catch up session. I can really realize what did I take on that I could delegate to my VA or to another team member? Um, is there extra editing that the video guy can do? Is there something the social media folks can do? What, what can I let go of more of so that I get to focus on the great stuff, the content, the actually telling you guys these things shooting the videos, writing the blogs, writing the emails, all the things that allow you to get to know me a little bit better and my philosophy. So hopefully this will help you out as well. Just knowing that there is a little bit of time at the end of the week can really keep you from panicking that, oh my gosh, I still have to do it all today. 
and move it into that's something that's not urgent or important, but still needs to get done. And I can do that on Friday during my catch up time or Saturday morning or Thursday night or whatever the end of the week is for you. Anyway, I will see you next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, tell all your friends because it's just more fun that way. And join us next week. I will see you um, then. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.